textbooks? What is being done to ensure that the public schools who are lacking them get them to be able to teach effectively? Okay. Who are lacking them? Yes. Right. Who, who do not have the textbooks? Uh, I think about two weeks ago, or even about a month back, the minister called me and said, look, Prof, I want you to check all the various schools and the numbers, the students' numbers, the data. Get it? Of course, that is something a little bit out, out, outside my school. But since I'm <clears throat> into assessments and trying to do national standards, as he felt that I would be able to get the data. Well, sometimes it's it's a little bit absurd to... I, I, uh, let me bring this one in. I visited a school in uh, Accra and then I asked the, the head, which of the books do you have? They mentioned all the books. Then I went to the classroom. Then I realized that children, two people, were using one textbook. And I asked the teacher, I'm told that you have all the books. You, I know the number. Why are the children, two people, using one textbook? Then he says, oh, half is there. We've kept them. So that when this one gets spoiled. And sometimes we get a little bit worried and disturbed. Prof, you know, as much as I appreciate that, which of course is wrong, for the school that do not have the textbooks, the requisite textbooks, what has been done to furnish them with the books? And that is what I'm coming to. Mm. And you see, now we've gotten the numbers, and I'm, I'm giving the numbers back to the ministry or okay. the minister. He thinks that something went wrong in the distribution, mm. and so he's augmenting those ones. As I speak, even for the numbers, do you know the numbers? Can you share the numbers with us? For the various class uh, numbers, you, you have the numbers. You're going to furnish the minister with it, aren't you? Oh yes, we've, so we've compiled them. So what, 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 what's, the, what's the number? What for for the maybe P one, P two, whatever you furnish the minister with, what is it? Oh please, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. You would. Fine. For, for what of time? Let me quickly move on to this other. I thing. can't even show you the table, but I. No, but I think I think I was going to have a rough idea, so, mm -hmm. so, so we can appreciate the situation on the ground as to how many schools there are, mm -hmm. how many students there are who do not have the textbooks. At least I can give you a class which is about five. Oh, uh, the numbers that don't have. Mm. No, no. I, I, I'm compiling the data for school children in the various classrooms. Okay. So as to whether the numbers all of them have or not they will have to compare okay. with their procurement what about the fact supplies? that some parents and this is for parents and parents listen you ought to speak out all right speak out if you have concerns let him address it for you if you're a teacher speak out let's let him let him also address the issues for you when it comes to the basic level there are some subjects that parents are concerned about concern being that it looks as if it's above the level of the children i don't know what has come to your attention okay i have such a concern i have okay. such a big concern because some of the things that my six-year-old is steady, I ask myself. Your six-year-old? Yeah. Is he coming from a private school or public school? My six-year-old from a private school. Private school. Yes. Well, that's that is it. <laughs> because you see, like so, and all Naka, these, Naka, I, I, Naka, Naka, Naka doesn't play a role in okay. that. All these concerns, I hear so many parents. I say, ah, and now me banu that debi or debi buy yeah. We put me cry me into me. And so, and so, festivals. Then, and and when you check, they are all coming from private schools. Okay. NACA, <coughs> we are responsible for developing curriculum standards and assessment standards. And we do so looking at the depth of and scope of the curriculum and look at the level of the child and give a level which fits for the child. It is not going to happen where NACA is going to develop a curriculum whose content for Maybe primary six be given to primary three. It could never happen. I know that maybe some of the private schools, you know, because of uh, these days competition, they may want to do certain things to show that, yes, they demonstrate that they are on top and their children are good. So, yes, they may probably want to go a little higher. But trust you me, the curriculum that we have developed is standard for the child at every level, and we will never do that. I, I, somebody showed me uh, an assignment that was uh, homework that was given to a child and I look at the homework and then I laughed and I was asking which teacher gave you this and then he mentioned and he mentioned this I'll mention the school I said well I know no wonder it is it is some of these that the ministry have empowered NASIA National Schools and Inspectors Authority of course we work with them as I speak with you now we are even <coughs> training some of their curriculum guys
so that when they get to the schools, they will be able to monitor some of these things and know what. When, when is that going to take place? Oh, they, they have started. If they have started. Started. it's going to kill the interest of they have learning started. their children. They have started. They have, in fact, this year they did monitoring and uh, compliance. Now they are moving to the second level of monitoring, and that is in school, in class activities. Mm. And that is where all these things will come. They will, they will check the homework assignments that are given by teachers to the pupils, and then they will look at the uh, contents of the lesson notes, mm. and they will give their, their comment as to whether they meet the requirements or not. Okay. So Nasia will be doing that. Well, we're live on.